bear. She really enjoyed that ice cream that night. Like, <laughs> and pumpkin. She really likes pumpkin too. Like, my name is Hello, I'm back, everyone. We are ready to play some Lemony Snicket. Oh, we got to start the prediction. You guys have 15 minutes. Let me know if you're still here. Uh, <laughs> no, let me know if you think we're going to like this game or not. It's the same options as usual. You got 15 minutes to, to get a feel for the game and whatnot, but you got to have your, your picks in by then. Nate won pretty big on the last one. I don't know exactly how many points he ended up getting, but uh, he got some at least. And this game, though, Lemony Snicket, dude. Series of unfortunate events. No options to speak of whatsoever. So, trash. Uh, let's get into the game, though, shall we? We should get the kitty some pumpkin soon. We should get the cat some pumpkin soon, Noodle. Our cats, specifically one of them, but both of them, really, really like um, pumpkin for some reason. Like, just pumpkin from a can. Just straight pumpkin. And from what we've read, it's actually pretty decent for them as long as you don't, like, give them too much. Because it's, it's high in fiber. It does have some sugars and stuff in it, which which cats don't need. But kind of as, like, a, a treat slash supplement deal. It's not too bad. It's actually pretty good for them. Uh, let's turn it up a bit. In this game, not only is there no happy ending, there is no happy beginning, and very few happy things in the middle. This is because not very many happy things happened in the lives of the three Baudelaire children, who are Violet, the oldest, her brother Klaus, and their very young sister, Sunny. Sunny was at an age where one mostly speaks in a series of unintelligible shrieks, which most people had trouble understanding. For instance, I'm glad it actually does have Mr. Bo? subtitles, From at least for now. <clears throat> Children? Kitty needs the pumpkin as of late. I yeah. Of I mean, I don't know, man. She's just bad. Bad cat. We have a bad cat. <laughs> this intro is interesting, though. To tell you this. Your parents have perished in a fire that destroyed your entire home. Perished is a word which sad. means they were lost forever to everyone who Big loved. sad and that the world had suddenly become a lonely F's and chat. sinister place in which the children had to see their way. <clears throat> I know you must feel awful right now, but I have some very good news for you. As the executor of your parents' estate, I've made arrangements for you to live with your dear uncle, Count Olaf. <clears throat> Consider yourselves lucky children. Was he actually their uncle, or did he just, like, steal these children? <laughs> I don't think I've ever watched the entire movie. Definitely haven't read the books. Hello, hello, hello. I am your beloved Count Olaf. Hello. And welcome to my humble dwelling. Or in the words of the great French poet Ovid, Mi casa es su casa. Right? Technically their uncle, but not blood. And it for the money. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds great so far. <laughs> Ovid was Roman. And he didn't speak Spanish. And he never said that. Klaus. <laughs> what a darling child. I have it underlined. I'll show you later. Yahoo! Mr. Poe. <laughs> I, will raise these <laughs> as if they were I like how it has uh, translations no, for the for the baby. <laughs> Children, how do we get this done? <clears throat> oh, you won't officially have guardianship until the hearing Thursday morning. I see. And what am I to do with them until then? <clears throat> Excuse me. Nothing. Never mind. Ah, uh, yes. Well, uh. I'd better be getting back to the bank. Oh, can't you stay? I was going to pull out some board games, followed by face painting, and uh, make your own Sunday. <laughs> oh, which reminds me, Silence, if you're still around, dude, now's your chance to enter one of the uh, the prediction poll thingies. Orphans, let me show you around the house. If you haven't already, I see a few people have already made up their mind on, on how the game's gonna be, but, uh, 
I can't tell who. As you can see, I've stopped the place with a multitude of jollies, knickknacks, and yep. paddywhacks for your amusement. Bugs, a broken bike. That Was that a hat? Is the greatest gift also, terrible frame rate right there for a moment. <laughs> By the way, there's a small rat infestation problem in the house. Make yourself useful and take care of it. I do it myself, but I find rats to be deeply unpleasant. I don't know. Perhaps there's something about them that reminds me of myself. Okay, then. That dude's, uh, interesting. Klaus, that was a very big rat. How are we gonna get rid of rats? Exterminators use traps and poisons. We don't have anything. I like how the subtitles are already fucked up. Violet Baudelaire was afraid of rats and didn't want to have anything to do with them. Unlike many people, she was also a brilliant inventor. Hmm. Anyone who knew Violet well could tell she was thinking very hard when her long hair was tied up in a ribbon to keep it out of her eyes. I've got an idea for a device that'll do the job. I'll need a spring. A broom, a coffee can, and that boxy glove. Okay. So we're just collecting things now? But Question mark. Children will be needed on this adventure. Try, Try switching, switching to Klaus. Klaus. No. Okay. Just tell me how to do it and let's go. Play this game as either Violet or Klaus. To switch between them, press triangle. Well, Very time. cool. At times the children will be faced with Fucking tutorials, man. <laughs> a phrase which here means pushing heavy objects across the room. To push objects that can be pushed, press circle and move the character in the direction you want them to push. I'm pushing circle. There we go. I guess we can't, like, uh, we gotta stop moving entirely before we start pressing circle. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. Nice. We can handle that. While jumping is only recommended for people with strong knees or insects in their trousers, let's give it a go. <laughs> I thought I completely misinterpreted what it was just saying. I thought they were saying that jumping is only suggested for people with strong knees or insects or insects wearing trousers, essentially, you know, like insects in their trousers in as in wearing. Totally, totally messed that up. <laughs> but. And it is something you should never, ever, ever, ever do. Borrowing, on the other hand, is tolerable. I mean, we, we live here now, so... I think using a boxing glove or, or anything in the house shouldn't really be considered stealing. Just throwing that out there, but okay. I'm, I'm pressing circle game. Why did I have to press it like 16 times? Okay. Press start button to see list. I understand. Close the menu. Game. Holy hell. Resume game. Okay. Oh my god. Just let me play the game, please. Uh, okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Hey, we got a bed. I mean, dude, that's... <laughs> that's everything someone could possibly need, right? Does she play any differently than, than the other dude? Or do these two characters end up playing exactly the same throughout the whole thing? I guess time will tell. A puzzle piece appeared on the screen for the mo for a moment. Does that mean we're also collecting those? Okay, so we need a coffee can and a broomstick. I think we can handle it. In these dark moments, mm -hmm. when their spirits were down, one thing mm -hmm. always made the children feel better: memories of their late mother and father, who they missed oh. very much. We have a depression meter. <laughs> I mean, do we just go ahead and collect it? I guess we just go ahead and collect it. It doesn't look like we're actually sad right now or anything, but might as well. It's locked, but I can see inside. It looks like some sort of supply closet. Let me guess, that's where the broom it's is? It's a ventilation shaft. Send Cash the baby through. I loved books. Nothing pleased him more than spending an afternoon filling up his head with their contents. And everything he read, he remembered. I read a book about Lucky guy. For the size and age of the house, I'd say this is part of an old remote mounted multi port system. It should connect to other nearby vents and may lead to rooms behind locked doors. Sonny, you up for a challenge? 
Yes. <laughs> Send the baby through the vents. <laughs> because a uh, small child slash teenager happened to read a book on them one time and believes that's eh, probably safe. <laughs> oh, God. What could possibly go wrong, right? While using Violet, press circle at openings like this one to send Sunny on an adventure. Try it now. Sure. Why not, dude? Send the baby through. <laughs> Wait, what? The baby just got blown away, dude. <laughs> uh, okay. Press X to jump. This is... This is a game. Oh, she got more depressed because she was touched by that steam or whatever. <laughs> oh my god. This is this is interesting. Uh this house suddenly seems massive. How many how many floors are there there in this house again? Isn't it like a two-story home? Maybe three? I'm pretty sure we just went down five. Try biting through the board that's blocking the door. Biting? Dude, she just ate through a metal pipe. Is she a rat? <laughs> Are we sure the rat infestation is real? And it's not just her? <laughs> uh, okay. This baby is actually a uh, superhero or something. It's kind of weird. Maybe it's a TARDIS inside? Yeah, maybe. Sister's a leader, bro is smarty, and baby is a friggin' chomper. Yeah, to say the least, dude. Holy a hell. Collect puzzle pieces to reveal secrets later in the game. Okay, will do. I got a broom. What now? Okay. Next, we we'll use the broom. Rotate the center object until you find the right spot to attach the next item in the list. Okay. Um. How do we? Oh. There we go, like that. Next up, the spring. Oh. Spring stores okay. high energy, which we'll be needing for sure. So, do we just get a red X? Last, we do. Guaranteed to deliver a solid punch. How does... And there you have it. I call how it does this take out a rat? Exactly. I thought we were going to make, like, a trap to catch the rat in or something. Not, like, something to, to punch it with. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on, man. Someone help. I need an adult. <laughs> uh, where okay do we just go back now i guess we just go back probably huh oh wait is that bad should we not have gone in the light you can take care of this right klaus the little tiny shortcut scenes that take you out of the experience and have loading in between them Annoy the hell out of me. I hate things like that in video games. Okay, so we can break things now. As well as kill rats. What all can we break? Not not everything, just certain things. The the fragile vases, that looks like about it. East hallway? We'll be back for that. Don't worry. Don't worry, game. We'll get there. Ow. Oh, well, okay. That rat just murdered me. Where'd the other rat go? Uh, excuse me, rat. <laughs> I need you to stay still for just a moment, please, so I can kill you. This dude seems to be uh, enjoying murdering small animals, which I'm pretty sure is a sign of a serial killer. So just throwing that out there, he may actually be a serial killer. I am concerned for the mental well-being of this child right now. Someone should take them to a therapist. How long ago was this? Was this before therapy? Was this when, you know, they just did lobotomies and shock treatment and shit? Because I don't think that's going to help the child, I'll, I'll admit. 
I think he just needs like a, a good a good uh, adult figure in his life, Ew, someone that's what? not whatever our guardian's name is at the moment. Uh, excuse me, rat. Did you die? You died. I thought I hit the wall. Ah, oh, dude, you're up to twelve. Congrats, Nate. Can we just like we can just mash the button not that it really was a good thing to do oh cool dude we can punch shit through shit this this bopper or whatever the hell it's called is actually a magical device that uh doesn't believe in in you know mass <laughs> it can just teleport through solid objects at will let's keep looking Hey! Nate won some points and instantly starting a heist. Let's go, dude. You know I gotta join the heist. All the heists. Uh, 469, because I can't do 420-69. The telescope is pointing at those houses. Who's tunnel up watching? So the telescope, the telescope is useless for now. Telescope. Noodle just chilling on a solid 12,000 points right now. It's hard to believe that Nate actually had more points than us for a very short period of time. <laughs> very short. Someday Nate's going to win the lottery or some shit and then just instantly lose it all, man. Dude's going to get like 10 mil and then come home with five bucks somehow. You can do a max of uh, 1337, Noodle. I'm surprised people don't know this by now. <laughs> the regulars, at least, don't know this by now. Stop. We are collecting evidence of wrongdoings. Help us find more. Stop. When assembled, all will be revealed. Stop. P.S. The world is quiet here. Where did it come from? Why did he keep saying stop? Oh, it was a telegram or something, wasn't it? There are often secrets to be found when investigating the light. Okay. 25 puzzle pieces. We can do a secret thing. Cool. Will do. I kind of like the, uh, the graphic style of the game, right? Like, I mean, it's very brown, very bland, but I, I feel like that's kind of the world they were given. But there's something kind of charming about it. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like in Sly Cooper, right? Where everything's just a little bit off and not quite right looking. It kind of makes me think of that. And, and I appreciate that, right? And, and in a world where you can't make photorealistic graphics, um, because of hardware limitations or whatever, it's kind of nice to just lean into that everything looking a little bit wrong thing. A fan. Count Olaf is lucky he hasn't caused a dust storm. Maybe we could use this later. Okay, another useless thing. Got it. If you actually hit the lotto, you'd get your house, car, pay bills, up and such, invest, put some back, and help friends and family. I mean, yeah. No, that's, <laughs> that's what I would do, too. But I don't know, man. I, I just... For some reason, I feel like... Two weeks later, you'd be like, hey, man, I got 10 bucks left. <laughs> you're going to you're gonna go to the freaking uh, casino and be like, bro, I got 10 mil here to play with. Uh, totally going to triple this tonight and then just lose it fucking all. Joking for the most part, obviously. <laughs> I believe you would do the responsible thing, as you said, but only kind of. Uh, excuse me, rat, I need you to die. Rats are in the kitchen. I'm assuming we can't use the piano either. Next week, you gotta start waking up early, so you're trying to get sleep while you can. Uh, why do you have to start waking up early? That's gross. I feel like you probably said, but I don't remember. Anyways, have a good night, Ruth. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us for a bit, man. Rope, we can use that later as well. Okay, very cool, I guess. Uh, is this the kitchen? Dining room, but also locked. School. That makes sense. Yep, yep, yep. Classes start at 9.30 this semester. Yep. I kind of remember you saying that. Like I said, memory barely exists. 
<laughs> have a nice night, Rue. Yeah, have a nice night, dude. See you later, man. Uh, is this kitchen ever even used? Like, bruh. This is filthy as hell. <laughs> why? Why does he even have snowshoes, man? I mean, granted, I don't know where we are in the world. Maybe, maybe they have some pretty harsh winters around here or something. But, like, from what I've seen of the place so far, it seems like mostly, you know, beaches, warm climate sort of deal. I, uh, I don't think there's very much use for, for snowshoes. Oh, okay. We got enough puzzle pieces. Should we, should we do it now? I guess we should probably do it now. Great job, Klaus. Let's go tell Count Olaf we finished. How do you know that's all the rats? Stay away from all that in real life. First thing you do now is if you get enough organic gas There's and extra buck, you'll grab a scratcher. Yeah, I don't I don't really gamble either, other than, you know, scratchers. And like I said, I did get a uh, Mega Millions ticket tonight. I might have won a dollar, maybe. <laughs> I've, I've been very lucky a handful of times in my life, don't get me wrong. But I've never been lucky with, with lottery, men. I know a lady that's won, you know, thousands of dollars. Uh, across a few different scratchers, but uh, I've I've gotten fuck all, dude. A few bucks here and there, and that's it. Funnel, inner tube, fork, and lunch. What is she making now? I I, I appreciate the MacGyver shit. Don't get me wrong, but I'm a little confused on how these contraptions are supposed to actually do anything. Also, I was just thinking, the coffee can thing, neat idea and all, but the way you would work it, you would pull back the broom handle to compress the spring, and then you would let go of the broom, which would shoot out the, the, uh, glove from the front, right? But the spring can only have as much force as you store inside of it, aka however hard you pull back on it. So couldn't you just, like hit stuff with a stick <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't that give you the same amount of force if not more hmm i don't know man i think there's a little flaw in the logic here inner tube fan funnel fork okay well we've seen the fan that looks like it's still locked we didn't need rope yet what's this the parlor is that where we came from nope that's locked too i guess i should have seen the giant lock on it uh, the fan was right up here, though. We can grab that real quick. Thank you. Inner tube funnel fork. We'll need to find uh, is that still this. locked? That's still locked. I don't remember seeing any of those things. Is there anywhere else we can go? Can we leave? The neighborhood. It looks like we can leave. Well, why don't we just run away? <laughs> oh, nope. Never mind. We can't leave. Count Olaf is our guardian. The dude is insane, man. I don't think you really had to worry about what he says. Can we not do anything with Count? Oh, that's the rope. That's useless. Okay. Kitchen. Is that a spider? I don't think I can do anything with it. Again, maybe later. Uh, hi. You are? That fork is perfect for my invention. Maybe he'll let us borrow it. Doubt it. Excuse me. Hey! What are you doing sneaking around? I was just gonna ask if I could borrow it. Can you hear me? Get lost! Why is the frame rate during some of these scenes trash, dude? Like, the frame rate during the actual gameplay isn't too bad, but every once in a while it just... Oh, shit. Uh, he's throwing spaghetti at us? Ow! Oh, he's got, he's got iframes. <laughs> Why? Why's he got iframes, dude? Ow, dude, we're totally gonna die here. I hit him first. <laughs> this is trash. Give me the, give me the health. Wait, what? Again. I, did I die? Hit the dude, man. I hit him! This game is jank as fuck. I, I'm hitting him, I'm hitting him, I'm hitting him. 
What? Excuse me. There we go. It worked that time. I mean, I, I get what we're supposed to do here, right? Just just dodge the spaghetti attacks and then hit him. But every once in a while, it just doesn't trigger the fact that we're hitting him. There we go. Let's take the freaking fort. Oh. Fork in me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Why with the tiny 30 second, not even 30 second, half of a second, third of a second cutscenes, like, weird. Found a large fork, not just any old fork, a large fork. Okay, funnel and inner tube. This is an exactly uh, the snowshoes, the snow no. What was this? Is this the dining hall? The door has no handles, I'm not sure how it opens. Beat the hell out of it, that's how it opens. You lost another 80 points, good job. <laughs> it's going well, I see. Okay, nothing else in here. So back up to the rooms, I guess. I don't know Those where else to go. Nasty. Yeah, but I mean, they're all the way up there and I don't think we can touch them or they us. So who cares about the spiders? Oh wait, were there any uh, small spaces we could crawl through anywhere? I haven't noticed any, but we should pay attention. We might be able to send the baby through to save the day. Um, nothing here. Keep going up. It's my turn. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go through the doors, actually, if you don't mind. East hallway, please. Hey, who let you in here? Oh good, move. another dude. I'll show you what happens when you go sneaking around where you're not wanted. So, like, didn't our guardian count Olaf or whatever the hell his name is? Didn't he kinda tell us, hey, um, I need you to do all these chores around the house? So why like are all of his I'm assuming they're his friends trying to murder us? <laughs> like, like, what is up with that, dude? Seems a little ridiculous. Just throwing that out there. Throwing barrels like they're boulders at children. The telescope is pointing at those houses. Who's kind of off watching? Um. Okay, that's boarded. Can't go there. I think there may be something behind that bookcase. Yes, I think you're right. Can I push it, please? Uh, nope. There we go. Okay, we're done pushing. That's fine, too. I didn't I didn't really want to push it anyways. You know, I just thought I'd hit the circle button for the hell of it. Inner tube! Let's go! Pull toy, inner tube, whatever. Same thing. Now we just need a funnel. Where would there be a funnel in this old house, man? That's the way we came from, right? Yeah, west hallway. So back in our room, maybe? The the main room. It's the main room. Have we been in, in here? The main room? I don't remember. Brain is fried. Wait a second. No. Yes. <laughs> Never mind. The west hallway is, is, is the direction we need to go. I'm a dumbass. It's fine. So this must be, I didn't read, this must be the east hallway then? I thought we had already gone through a hallway into somewhere else, but no. So this way. The west hallway, let's go. Surely you keep a funnel just laying in the middle of your west hallway, right? Or do you have another homicidal friend in here doing something sketchy? Hmm. Is that a funnel? No, that's <laughs> that's a tear and whatever the hell that is. Okay, funnel. Funnel? I don't see a funnel. Oh wait, is that a Can the baby fit through that one? No. Okay, that's just the door. I mean, that's fine too, I guess. 
Um, that's... That's definitely a hole in the wall. Why can I not send the baby through? That's a hole in the wall. I have a baby on my back. I would like to put the baby in the hole. Oh, dude. Go first person. I'm pressing circle. Okay, whatever. Trash. Obviously, we're not meant to go through there right now. Or... Oh, that was that this one? I thought that hole was a lot closer to, to the room. Never mind. I'm sorry. I apologize, game. It's not your fault. Oh, wait. We got the, the treasure pieces. Duh. Is that secret file? Is that where we need to go? Oh. So it just it just unlocked that? I thought we were going to like get a mini game or something neat, ju not just a picture. Well, never mind then. That's kind of lame. What now? Question mark. Defeat the hook handed man. Okay, so yeah, we need to find we need to find another homicidal maniac. Got it. That shouldn't be too hard assuming we can find him. Secret room. Let's go, dude. That's pretty cool. If I ever build a mansion, I would want secret rooms out the asses. Asses? <laughs> out of multiple ass. All the asses with secret rooms, please. Something in the extras menu? Uh, sure, we'll save. Why not just auto-save? Why wouldn't you want to save? What valid reason is there? Noodle! Can you hear me, love? Are you there? Are you still watching? If you are, I have a question of you. A request, if you will. If not, that's cool too. I can do it in a minute. Mm, lame. Nothing here. You're in the bath. Lame. Okay, never mind then. Now, if you're in the bath, just enjoy your bath. I was going to have you uh, fill up my water for me, but I'm getting ready to take a break in like 10 minutes anyway, so I'll just uh, run down and fill it up then. No problem, love. Um... Can we push this bookcase? No. Are there any other... Oh, there's... There's a hole in the wall, but I'm assuming that's a rat hole, not a send the baby through hole. Yeah. Lame. Am I sure? Yeah, I'm sure. It's no problem. Love, enjoy your bath. Okay, back to the east hallway, I suppose. There must be another door that we missed somewhere. So we've oh my god the camera. Can't do anything with that, I don't believe. Right? We we've beat it. We can't click on it. Okay. Let's follow the left wall. Okay, so we, we found that room. There was the inflatable in there, and that's it. Nothing over here except for that, and we can't do shit with the telescope right now. I feel like this was meant to be easy. Oh, there was a funnel just what i'm blind we ran past that so many times i've had to bend it a bit to ensure proper trajectory Next, oh are we making like a shooty thing the fan will provide the propulsion we need. okay so we attach the fan there the funnel the funnel will allow the fruit to be aimed correctly so that would go in the other hole and last the fork it'll need a handle so i can carry it around oh all in all a crafty piece of machinery what are we shooting out of it? Fruit. We're shooting fruit out of it? Why? <laughs> what, what are we shooting with? Are, are we going to take down the spiders with fruit? Also, that was a terrible hint that the game gave us. Defeat the hook-handed man? What hook-handed man? We never found one, but we found the funnel. I'm guessing maybe the funnel was meant to be a little more obvious and we're just blind. Okay, so we made the thing. How do we, how do we? Oh, there we go. Okay, what do we want to do with this now? Let's keep following the left wall. I I'm guessing shoot the spider. That's the only thing I can think to do with it. There's no other point I can think of where we need to like shoot at something or, or you know, nothing, nothing obvious to shoot at. Hydrate, uh, uh, less than a uh, problem. I don't have anything to drink. <laughs> okay, so thank you, Silence, for the hydrate reminder. 
so here's what we're going to do. So I can hydrate. We're going to pause the game right there. We're going to take our quick break. Just uh, three to five minutes, guys, so we can run an ad to get rid of, like, pre-roll ads and all of that BS. As well as give myself, I guess, a chance to go fill up my water bottle so I have something to drink. I highly suggest you all do the same. Get yourself something to drink. Have a nice stretch. Do whatever you can because it's good for you, man. Just sitting all day isn't. Trust me. I know. I sit way too much. I'm terrible at that. But anyways, we're going to be right back, guys. <laughs> F's in chat. Yeah. Press F. You fucking loves pumpkin. I want information. Where the hell am I? Uh, sorry. And he can't jump that high? Yeah. Well, he might be able to, but I'd be surprised if he could. What a guest. His Majesty Baron Praxis, the ruler of glorious Haven City. I was just a guest. Your inside cat likes honey turkey? Inside a cell or inside the city. I feel like ours would like turkey too. Both. We are all his I mean cats in general are, you know, they're meant to be carnivorous. Uh more than anything else, so it's no no wonder, you know. Bro, how are you just gonna arrest everybody? Like an entire section of the city? I time to murder. <laughs> Too easy. Uh, why are we angry, bro? I don't know. I, I guess it's like a tutorial section. It's just making us it. I didn't choose to be evil. They're making me do it, guys. All right, I'm better again. <laughs> Something's happening to me. Something he did. I can't control it. Ah, uh, you can't control it. I'm so angry all the time now. Justin was very brave. This child is Only me and her eat it, so it works out that way. It doesn't go to waste as easy. And can I just say I'm glad you're streaming today? You had the worst start of my day. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Honestly. On your way to your midterm, you slipped and fell on ice. Your back and hand hurts like hell. The midterm was bullshit and you really needed this. Also, fuck this police force. Kill them all. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. I'm really sorry about the, the slipping and falling and all that, man. That sucks. And yeah, midterms are always stressful. Like, I'm sure you did well on it, though. Dark Jack is kick ass. Dark Jack is kind of hot. <laughs> How you hitting on Dark Jack, man? Dude's got claws and can't control himself. Uh, I'd like to steal your vehicle, please. <laughs> yeah, it's GTA the video game, or like GTA meets Jack and Daxter. That's uh. That's uh, that's where this came from, man. Where? Okay, we're going to the sword thingy. So we need to go around here. Have you met me? Dark emo boys are my style. Dark emo. What the hell are they? Wombats? Like. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what animal they are, technically. Jack and them. Or if they really even. Like, are they a, a real animal? Or are they just something made up, even? Like. That's another thing, I guess I don't really know. What's with the question mark? I don't remember the question marks in the game. Just a random uh, holographic billboard of a question mark, man. Are they, they advertising the newest Mario game or something? Thanks guys, you appreciate that. Y'all, there's Wendy's Chocolate Frosty Cereal. You know, I honestly don't even remember what a Wendy's Chocolate Frosty tastes like. It's been a long time since I've had one. A long ass time, man. Stream can't drive, it seems. All right. I'm back, guys. Hello, hello. I got hydrated. I filled up my water bottle. Not in that order. Kind of in the other order. I filled up my water bottle, and then I got hydrated. And now we're going to play some more Lemony Snicket, dude. Press and hold the R1 button to target the spider. Once you've targeted, press the square button. Oh. 
The spider built a giant web now. Oh, we have we have bullet drop. I mean, that makes sense. I guess it is a weak little. Oh, now she's angry. Violet's invention should do the trick. We can rapid fire, dude. Let's go. Hell yeah. Is there? Is, does it auto target? Oh god damn it. Okay, this auto auto aiming thing does not work too well. Maybe we were too far away. There we go. So this is the same fight that we just had with the with the uh, spaghetti dude, but with the spider. <laughs> it's the exact same boss, man. Just there's a tiny bit of range involved now instead. That's all. Okay, well. <laughs> hey, why make a new interesting boss when you can just reuse all the same ideas from the last boss, but with a different weapon? Ow. GG. What? I thought you only shot four times. Why'd you shoot five? Oh, fuck. It's all coming down to this, dude. We got one hit left. He's got one hit left. Can we, like, hide anywhere? No. You shooting again? You are? Okay. GG. Get fucked, spider. Huh. That was the last one. The chores are finally done. I mean, I thought, I thought so. I was the one who decided when your chores were finished. Mr. 12 FPS Uncle Sir. My theater troupe will be dining here this evening. And you will have dinner ready precisely when we feel like eating it. I must leave now. Prolonged exposure to children makes me ill. None of us know how to cook. We don't even have a recipe. Maybe we could ask our new neighbor, Justice Strauss, if she has a cookbook we could borrow. How? It's so nice to finally well. meet you, children. I'd love Hello. to help you, but my fellow justices will be arriving soon for a meeting, and I must get this library back in order. M maybe we can help. Oh my goodness, would you? I'd be so great. I mean, sure. The most important books are scattered about and must go back in their alcoves. You can tell where each book belongs by matching the title with the design of its display. Please hurry, children. My guests will be here any minute. Good luck. Wait. We, uh, excuse me? <laughs> we have to match the title with the design of the display. So, okay. So we have to kind of intuit from the, from the name of the book what the display should look like and go from there. Hopefully it's something obvious. Also, why do you have your most important book scattered all over the place? You should take more uh, care of the important things, man. Overwrite successful? Awesome. Let me play the game now. <laughs> Klaus? Do you remember the game you and dad used to play? No. Let's see how quickly we can reach you those books back. <laughs> That's a game that we used to play with our dad? We had <laughs> an interesting home life, didn't we? Uh, okay, well, we didn't find a book yet. We probably need to find a book before we can put any back. About lamps and electricity. Maybe we could use this later. Okay, well, that doesn't do me any good now. There's a book. What's your title? The Splendid Stegosaurus. Okay, so dinosaur-themed in some way. Has quite an extensive Bookstrap. Maybe we could use this later. Oh. Wait, is that an elevator? Oh, what? We only have a certain amount of time to get it? Uh, why do we only have a certain amount of time? Uh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know this was going to happen. <laughs> God. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So, that's like a galaxy themed one. This is flowers and shit. This is nothing, apparently. Uh... We could probably put what's her name through there, the the baby. Let's switch to the baby real quick. Although the baby can't oh no, we can't even switch characters right now. Never mind. <laughs> Nate lost all his points now. GG Nate. <sighs> okay, what is what's up in the up the elevator? Um nothing over there. Another elevator. There's another book, but I mean, I don't want to grab the books because if I don't know where they go, it's not going to do me any damn good. 
I'm gonna forget where all this shit is, dude. Is that... Is that a Stegosaurus? Yeah, okay. So I know where the splendid Stegosaurus goes, so do I just... Do I just grab it then? This is the, this is the right one, right? Yeah, okay. Let's go, dude. 20 seconds. Gotta freaking speed run this shit now. I feel like it should really give us just a little bit more time than that, because, uh... Like, it would just be nice to kind of <laughs> have a second to find where the books go, at the very least. Okay, what's this? This is a painting one? And there's nothing over here. Okay. And then... Football, sports ball, just in general. Okay, just pick one up and hope for the best, I guess. The Talented Tourist. The talented okay, so it's a world one. Um, Where do we think the Talented Tourist goes? Not there. Keep looking. I Tell you that you much. Nine, eight. Is this world? Probably not. Check that one off the list. Oh, that is right. Holy hell. We are gods. What are you? Fruit. I, I remember the seeing fruit. Painting. Where was fruit? Those are worlds. That's not fruit. Oh, we got a bigger timer than usual. So it must be up top somewhere. Oh, God. Uh, Jump. Go up. Up, 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 up. Okay, there's... Why didn't we go up? Oh, God. We're screwed. We're so screwed. Nope. Oh, God. No. I found the fruit. I found the fruit. It's right there. <laughs> God. Freaking. Okay, whatever. It's fine. The amazing athlete. Okay, that one's easy. We know where that one goes. We got 30 seconds to do it. Too freaking easy, dude. I'm an amazing athlete. Look at me. All these freaking hops, dude. Bet you can't hop like this. We don't want to let Justice Strauss down. Right where it belongs. Another one down. Another one bites the dust. Nah. Nah. Uh, is this the amazing fruit one? It is. Okay. The pleasant so go up. That goes down, not up. Go up. <laughs> go up and down. Up, up and down. Okay. I know you can do it. And then right here. Right where it belongs. Another what else down. do we got? Where are the other books even? Um. Is there a way to like... Hey, silence. Nice, man. Cool 200 points. Is that a book? I think that's a book. The Majestic Moon. Okay, that's right down moon. here. Right here, probably. A perfect fit. Dope. Uh, what else do we have? Books. That's a book binding or whatever. That's not a book. We'll break the justice's shit. We're only here to help her sort stuff, not, uh, you know, protect her stuff. Glorious Garden? Okay, well, that one's easy. It's literally right here. Was that it? Hey! Now it's invention time again? Oh, that's the book I was trying to get to. It's a little hard to get to with all the construction. But if you can find a way up there, you're welcome to take it with you. Now, if you Hey, children, me, just climb onto I this dangerous it. ledge with absolutely nothing support it. And actually, it has a big hole in it. Um. <laughs> I've got an idea. If I had a book strap and some sort of pull cord... But if you accomplish it, then, like, you can totally have that book you need so your uncle doesn't murder you. Oh, and we're just going to send the baby flying at that? Excellent. I'm in for it, dude. Let's go. Fire extinguisher. What else do we need? The book strap and a pull cord. So that'd be the lamp. Where? Sorry, I have an obsession. I can't help but break pots when I see them. Years of playing. 
Zelda games, man. I can't see. <laughs> Help, I'm blind. <laughs> Okay. Next is the book Oh my god, yep. It's I get it. To attach the device to her. Mm hmm mm hmm Next There we go. The pull cord. This will allow Sunny to turn the device on and off. Okay. Uh excuse me? That's not where it goes. Where does it go? Uh uh, there we go. Excellent. I, say so I call it the baby booster. The baby booster? Yeah, that seems perfectly safe, man. I don't see any way this could possibly go wrong, honestly. We should make baby boosters for all the babies of the world. Override successful. Let's go. Seems like an accomplishment of some sort. I need to clean off that memory card one of these days because uh, I, I am using my main memory card now, like my legit one instead of the third party one that I have. It's just more compatible with games. It's, it's faster to save and load and shit, but obviously it has a lot less space on it. So, uh, I need to keep that in mind. I need to clean it up one of these days. Where was that hole in the wall? Over here, right? Yeah, dude. Send the baby through with her new baby booster. <laughs> oh, we're gonna kill this baby somehow. Generally, it's better for babies to remain safely on the ground. Sunny Baudelaire, however. Oh, it just helps her jump. Oh, it also helps us push. That's interesting. Neat idea. Okay. Uh, we're dead. <laughs> How sad. Boo who? Did I did I collect it? I think I collected it. It's kind of neat, man. I gotta admit. Can we use the D-pad? No. Oh god. <laughs> Try not to let the baby get hit by giant swinging things. <laughs> Probably for the best that we don't, you know? Jokes aside, I am uh, not for killing babies. <laughs> oh, eat through it, dude. Let's go. If we push that down, the other one's going to raise up more, which is what we want, I think. I love how she can just eat through metal pipe, though, dude. I'm like, wait, wait, I want the thing. Did I get it? Oh, dude, we got a massive collection radius. <laughs> Baby be starving, bro. <laughs> What was with the dance? Oh my god. Yes, dude. That's fantastic. Let's play some slots. I'm feeling good. It's Beans, totally gonna work. Tomatoes, garlic, olives, and anchovies. Pasta nope. Putinesca. <laughs> Let's head back to Count Olives and start looking for Pasta Putin Putin Putinesca? I mean I'd eat it. Noodle wouldn't, because noodle's lame, but I would eat that pasta, pusta, neca stuff, whatever the hell it's called. Did we unlock anything else in the secret file thing? We got more pieces. Nothing there. We got this one. But that doesn't really do anything. It's just a picture of something. Huh. Do we have to, like, unlock all of that to beat the game or something? What's the... I, I'm confused about what the point is, because, like, it's not giving us any real info. It's just a really low-resolution picture of something. Waste your time rummaging through old books next door. Funny. I I told you Start making dinner. But we were looking for... Blah, blah, blah. You know what it's like to have to act on an empty stomach? Can you even imagine? This is the pen. This is where the food is kept. This is where you should be looking. Now get to I work. mean, do you really want just a couple of children that have probably never cooked before throwing random things together from the pantry? Or do you want us to get a recipe so maybe you get something edible? Just throw the baby up there, dude. <laughs> Try 
tripod, piano wire, and snowshoes? What? How is that going to help us? I'm lost. So far, man, I, I don't think I've understood any of her invention. The baby one. The baby one was pretty self-explanatory. And once we started putting together the, the, the other two, they made sense. But until then, nope, I had no clue. Okay, snowshoes, done. Piano wire would be piano. Tripod would be the telescope. We got this, man. Too freaking easy. Are we going to have random boss fights again while we're looking for shit? Okay, boop. Nope, no piano. Beat it. Hit it with a stick. Of course you have. Mm -hmm. Once the most prestigious name in grand pianos. Oh yeah, everyone's heard of them. What happened? The piano suffers from a fatal flaw. The parts are so precise and delicate that certain melodies can create acoustic resonance. Acoustic resonance is a term which here means powerfully intensified sound waves. Thank you for explaining to us voice in my head. A little delayed, but you're lame. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. So if we play the right sounds, the piano explodes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty trash piano. Oh, rhythm game? Dude, I like rhythm games. Let's go. Why do we have to play a whole song to make it blow up? I thought we just had to play a certain melody. Well, I mean, I guess, you know, but, like, that doesn't make sense. Of course, I guess neither does a piano blowing up because you've played a, a song. <laughs> Has anyone seen, I think it might have been Mark Rober, it may have been someone else, but a uh, it was a robotic piano. They hooked up a bunch of, like, little, oh, shit, servos to a piano so that it would play whatever you fed to it. Play faster, okay. Wait, are we playing the same song again? You couldn't add a second song? Is this actually any faster? Okay. I'm kind of sad, by the way, that I don't know how we're ever going to do rhythm games on... on, uh... Twitch because of the copywritten music. For the PS2, I'm still going to collect them and play them myself, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do them on Twitch. Probably not, which is kind of sad because, again, I like rhythm games. I mean, there's... Okay, so there's probably some rhythm games, but the ones that you're most likely to think of, right? Like your Guitar Heroes and Rock Bands and, and stuff like that, we probably won't be able to do on Twitch. But we could do, like, uh, I can't think of any other rhythm games for PS2, but, like, Parappa the Rapper or, or whatever we could do. I don't think there would be a problem with that. Lost your thousand points. Silence! No! Don't become a Nate, man. <laughs> okay, so rhythm game adventure over. Can we get the tripod now? Whose house was the tripod staring at? It mentioned that it was, like, Staring at the houses down the road or whatever, but I don't think it ever specifically said which ones You just realized you haven't sent any bits. You haven't sent any bits. How sad, dude And <laughs> Nate's back up to four points It's the worst or you're the worst. You're not the worst love. You don't have to send bits for me to appreciate you being here Thank you so much for the five bits though. I do appreciate your bits But like you don't have to oh my god, really? How do we shoot again? There we go can I get past you now? Yeah. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Nate needs some funding for his heist, guys. He's only got... <laughs> He's only got four doubloons to his name. <laughs> oh, shit. That's not how that works. <laughs> heist. Uh, well, since you did 420, man, then I got to do the 69. 
zero. Okay, so how's this invention gonna work, man? Oh wait, we got boots? I thought we got snowshoes, not boots. So we're making... So we're making like a, uh, a pogo stick then, right? When I saw... Oh, her boots. Oh. The snowshoes attach to the boots, so we're not actually using the boots here. Got it. You forgot again? <laughs> Noodle, what are you doing, love? Oh, my lord. It's all right. You got this. Ready for action. I call them the steady there we go. You need sleep? You can come up and lay down in the room whenever you want, love. Like, you're allowed to be in here, you know? Wait a second. Did someone subscribe and I missed it? At some point? Because I could have swore that we had 15 out of 10 there a little bit ago, and now we're at 16. Well, if someone subbed and I missed it, I'm very sorry. Thank you for the sub. Uh, if not, then I don't know. Maybe it was like an auto-renew sub. That might have been what it was, actually. And it just took a few minutes to register or something. I don't know. We'll see. Whatever. Which reminds me, guys, we are going to be getting a green screen very soon. Uh <laughs> Nate, man. Your, your poor four doubloons or coins or whatever the hell you want to call them. I'm so sorry, man. I mean, I'm not surprised. You did only put four coins in. Hell, we probably threw you into the uh, <laughs> the poisonous fog. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Poor Nate. It's fine. What should we call our coins? In the uh, with the the bot that we're gonna do our points or whatever. I'm thinking like coins or cents or something like that. Just because uh, I do plan on, like I said, the coins being used to to pay to play like little mini games and things like that. So I was thinking of it almost like uh, you know an arcade machine. You gotta put you gotta put your your money in, or like you know you gotta put your pennies into a penny slot machine, things like that. Stilts are useful for circus. But I don't know. Uh, People with very long arms but I don't know exactly what to call it. Tokens. To I guess tokens reach. wouldn't be terrible. Try using violet stilts oh, we got stilts. Now. Oh, they're just stilts. It's not pogo sticks. Wait, how did we get two of them? We only made one. Trash. Game makes no sense. <laughs> you kicked him in the back with your smelly work boots and ran. <laughs> <laughs> there was a mutiny. <laughs> oh my god. Where's this where's the switch, man? I'm getting I'm getting lost here. There it is. It's right freaking there. God, I'm blind. It's a good thing she's good at walking on stilts or that baby would be dead right now, dude. How can Count Olaf expect us to make dinner without any food? Maybe in the back room? Ah, oh, the cellar. Yes, that's where everyone keeps their tomatoes. <laughs> I'm still looking for names for the bot, too, because I will need to make a bot account, and uh, I can name it anything that's not already taken. From the colored smell, I'd say it's tetrachlorophenyl sodium hydroxide. Oh, yeah, totally. What does that mean? It means, it means it's poisonous. To touch it. We'll need to find another way across. My stilts should work just fine. Oh, good. Yeah. Walk on, on stilts, which are notoriously hard for walking on, with a... Uh, with a baby on the on your back so that you know if you fall into the poisonous water you and the baby both die that's that seems fine honestly another five bits holy shit noodle thank you thank you love i do appreciate it uh, this goop is gross. you didn't think the tetrahydrochloro sodium hydroxide or whatever the hell it's called would be gross they just want the baby to not be around anymore? That's kind of, uh, morbid. <laughs> I'm assuming if we hit the steam, we die. Maybe we'll just take damage, but either way, it's probably best to avoid it. Steam. End, please. Okay. Uh, whatever your name is, hurry! Hurry! <laughs> Run, girl! <laughs> It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, maybe twist the thing. Why? Why were you holding your gun while turning the valve? Oh my god, dude. 
That looked interesting. <sighs> well, damn, you really am Well, yeah, I filled up my thing, and when I filled up my water bottle, that was all the water that was left. I apologize, love. That's why I asked you to fill it, though. Uh, die rats? Wait, why can't I kill the rats? I have a gun! Come here, rats. <laughs> I'm doing a perfectly fine job of killing the rats, if you haven't noticed. Oh, the rats keep respawning because that's stupid. I wonder if they've been affected by the goop. Wait, why do the rats keep respawning? Die, rats. Are they just... they infinitely spawn? God damn, we're gonna die. Oh, we're dead. Zmabu eater? I don't know what that means. Oh, we gotta do the whole thing again? No, dude. Oh, why do you hate me, game? Alright, whatever. Very slowly walk across all this shit again. That's good game design. That steam looks hot. Really? Steam hot? No. I thought it would be cold. Of course it's freaking hot. I'm starting to get annoyed. <laughs> I can't help it, man. At least there's like some indicators on the ground where the steam's gonna appear. I do appreciate that, but it, there doesn't seem to be any for when steam's gonna go across. Like right in front of us. Isn't that a steam pipe? Is it gonna start blowing? Maybe not. Okay, we, we gotta wait here. We died last time or got hit last time. Wait, what? You actually had to Google that? To see which thing they were referencing? Because there's two main ones that popeth. I need to find a way to get Klaus what does that mean? What is it referencing? Somebody tell me. I don't know what's going on. Is there going to be health in here by any chance? No, just a puzzle piece. I don't want a puzzle piece. I want health because these rats are evil. You're not kidding, dude. Oh my god. The rats, man. I'm oh my sorry, no! But you must try oh, oh, dude, why? Oh, I'm getting impatient because I'm annoyed. That's alright. We'll just do it again for the third time. If it weren't for the very slow walking section, if I just had to redo the, the stupid rat thing, that would be fine. But it's this part. The very slowly walking through the goo. That's annoying, man. Anytime you have a section in a game where, where players have to do something slow, if they complete it once, put a checkpoint right afterwards so they never have to do it again, man. There's gonna be some slow parts in games. That's just unavoidable. But you don't have to have no checkpoints so they have to redo it, dude. You can you can you cannot do that. You have that choice as a game developer, level designer, whatever. Okay. Again. Hopefully for the last time. Okay, the rats are more vicious this time. Be careful of the rats. Be careful of the rats. Ah, there's too many! We're being surrounded! Oh god, no, please. Please no. Please no. Oh god. Okay, give me the locket, dude. That's not enough health. I found the anchovies? Oh, was I supposed to be picking stuff up? Oh, I didn't realize we were collecting ingredients already. Oh no. Are we gonna have to go back to the beginning again? Oh god. Oh god. It's fun. No, 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 no. Oh god, run away. So we have to put the. Oh, we have to do this again? Oh my god, man. This is. <laughs> this is a video game, guys. This is a video game that exists. And then we're gonna have to do it again. After this, I guarantee you, we're just gonna have to go around in a freaking circle. 
And if we die, is there a checkpoint? Or are we going to have to go all the way back to the beginning? I'm not doing the whole thing over again, dude. It's not happening. I refuse to do it. You're doing great, sweetie. Thank you for the <laughs> encouragement. Doesn't help my distaste with this game right now, though. Okay, wait. If we if we run into that, we're dead. Let's just wait. And we're clear. Okay. Tomatoes are up too high. Sunny, can you help us out? Send the baby in, dude. Let's go. Hopefully, since there's a loading screen here, that also means checkpoint. A man can dream, right? Let's go. I'm assuming Steam's still bad. Oh, oh god. Everything's fine. Don't die as the baby. Why even have this here? Let me just go through. Wait, what do we do about the rat? Do we just jump over it? At the top of her jump, press square to make her bounce. Okay, so she has she has her own booty bounce technique. Yeah, dude. Ow. We're, oh, God. Don't kill the baby. Oh, God. Is it dead? It's dead. It's fine. Everything's fine. I can't move. There we go. Thank you for the health. Honestly, that's that's a huge... Excuse me, game. <laughs> game. You're telling me to hold circle and I'm holding circle? Why are you not eating through the pipe? Uh, uh, die. A uh, rat, die. Okay, it's fine. No dead baby. Baby not allowed to die. Other way. Okay, block the vent. Jump on top. We got this, dude. Too freaking easy. Oh, the movie name? I still don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. That goes up higher than I thought it did. I still don't know what y'all are talking about, man. Okay, so I think we need to go down. Nope, never mind. We can't walk through there. I thought... <laughs> I thought that steam would have, like, dissipated by then and we'd be okay, but obviously no. So, all the way to the top. Close Encounters. Have I seen that? I think I may have seen that at some point. Memory not great, though. Okay, so that blocks the steam. Then we can go back around. Then we can jump all the way down here. Chew through two metal pipes because that's a perfectly normal thing for a baby to do. Close Encounters of the Fourth Kind. I'm pretty sure I've seen it at some point. Thank you for more health. I will gladly accept. Or I'm sorry, more more happy memories because <laughs> it's just bad memories. That's, that's what causes us to, to die here. There was no steam there. There's also a short story with that name. Game. <laughs> Can we chew through that? No. Okay. It's fine. Oh, God. Okay. We're fine. There's five different types of alien encounters. What's the What's the fifth kind? What's Actually, what's the other four kinds? <laughs> like, there's the normal kind, right? And then I'm assuming there's the stolen and probed kind. But what are the other ones? There we go. GG. Baby save the day. Yay, we got tomatoes. I, I don't want to play this game anymore, Mr. Krabs. Uh, spaghetti and is that garlic? Who would store their food in a place like this? Seriously, who the hell would store their food in a place like this? This is not sanitary. <laughs> okay, we got whatever the hell that is. Olives, of course. Uh, so that just leaves the pasta, which I think was in the very beginning. 
So now we just gotta make our way back. Is there any like quick way for us to get back or no? Probably not. So now we just gotta walk all the way back. Here's a question that I have. If we had collected the pasta at the beginning, you know, like smart people, would we have been teleported back to the beginning or would we still have had to have walked through all this? Because if we would have teleported back to the beginning, that wouldn't have been so bad. I would much rather that than, you know, have to walk through all this junk again. Are we about to get steamed? No, we're okay. Do you dream of our stream? Uh, I'm not. Oh, shit, we're stuck. God damn it, game. Not that I can think of. I don't think I had a dream of owls recently. I had some weird dreams recently, but I don't think any of them included owls. Are, are owls bad? Are owls secretly aliens? No, Klaus does not need to clear out those rats first. Turn this thing and we'll just walk back, dude. Oh god, do we have to get Klaus back? Please tell me we don't have to get Klaus back. If we do, we're done. I mean, we're about out of time anyways, but like, I'm just... <laughs> I'm done dealing with this shit. The game was okay until now, man. And now I'm just I'm just tired of it. I'm, I'm done with it. This section killed it for me. Probably no aliens in your house at night. I'm, I, I, that's good. Unless Noodle's secretly been an alien all along, we're dead, aren't we? Do we have all the ingredients? Okay, it's, it's still just the pasta. So... We're gonna, we're gonna give it one more go, man. Walking back to the beginning. Collect the pasta, see if we can get this freaking dinner made, and then we're done. <laughs> I am done with this game. No more lemony snicket for me. Uh, <laughs> silence. Are you having a stroke? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm concerned for your well-being, sir. <laughs> uh, do we need to call? Do we need to call you an ambulance, a doctor? Blink twice if you're okay, sir. <laughs> you'll show. You'll show us when you have your PC. Okay. All right. Yeah, just shoot me a message on Discord or something, sir. <laughs> oh, don't go in there. Don't. Wh I'm not touching anything. Why are you still walking forward? Oh, my God. At least we, when we respawned, we had full health. So we're not, like, dead right now or anything. You thought you were having issues with the heist? Yeah. On, we're so close. The pasta's right there. I can see it. I can see the pasta. Just make this damn dinner and get out of here. Please, game. Tell me I don't have to save Klaus. Tell me he can just find his own damn way back. Come on, do something good. Okay, we got the noodles. Oh, thank God. I released the spiders and made them get rid of those, too. <laughs> oh, Olaf, you're so clever. Ahem. Dinner is served. Putinesca. What did you call me? It's pasta. Pasta Putinesca. Where's the roast beef? You roast didn't ask for beef. roast beef, asshole. Philistine? You vex me to my very core. We slave for our art. Have you not seen our suffering? No. No, I haven't. International actors pauses for nourishment. They expect and deserve better than a pile of mushy chum. They expect and deserve, as the Greeks would say, rotate de birth. 
But you didn't tell us you wanted roast beef. But you didn't tell us you wanted roast beef. It's not fair. Klaus! I don't like this guy. I don't think you're supposed to like this guy, but... Oh my god. Oh, his friends are assholes too. Lock them away. I grow weary of their miserable faces. Klaus, are you okay? No, this isn't our home. We can't stay here. You're right, but we're stuck in this room. How will we get out? How about through the window? Yeah, dude. You're only on like the third story or whatever. I'm sure it's perfectly. What? <laughs> How big is this fucking house, man? Anyways, guys, that's a that's a that's a question to answer another day, maybe. Uh, because we are we're done with this game. As for what we would rate it, it's definitely not going to be rated one to finish. That that's that's very clear. I'm glad no one voted on that one. Are we gonna rate it backlog or meh? <laughs> Right now, I'm feeling very meh about it. Not going to lie. Let's see what HLTV says, man. If it's three hours, that's that's all the more I think I could stand to play this game. Uh, how long to beat? Lemony Snicket, A Series of Fortunate Events. All Styles says five hours. Four and a half remain in extras. Four and a half remain story. Yeah, that's, that's too much. Honestly, it's getting a meh. Which uh, is what most people voted for the game, it looks like. So, congrats to those people. You got some points coming your way. Uh, complete prediction. I don't know who's getting what, but um, it's it's a very meh game, in case you couldn't tell. It was it was on the edge for me up until we got to uh, that, that last section. That last section killed it for me, dude. That was so bad. Just redoing that same slowly walking through the the sewer sludge, and and the 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 aggressive rats and shit. That was just fuck that. Never want to do that again. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed yourselves on our first three-hour PS2 Gauntlet stream. This is now going to be the norm because on Fridays we're going to be playing some sim slash simulation slash strategy games or whatever. <laughs> we're going to be starting out with some RimWorld uh, modded most likely. So I hope you guys end up enjoying that. We're going to be playing the game a little bit different than than how you're really supposed to play RimWorld, I guess. You know, we're going to be, uh, well, you'll see. You'll see whenever we get there. Make sure you guys tune in for that on Friday night. Uh, I will be taking uh, subscribers that are there first um, as, as names to go into the game. And uh, I'm going to be adding some points that you can donate to like increase the size of your, your plot of land if you want to change your uh, profession maybe or something. Maybe we can set something up with that. I don't know. We'll figure all that out. But for now, guys, thank you again for being here. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you again in two days on Thursday night. Bye-bye, y'all. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, fuck. I drive just fine. IRL, at least. In video games, it's whatever. Like, eh, fuck it. You can hit some shit. It don't matter. There's no consequences.